This is Goku for the seven one. And what pisses me off seven ten? And this is Edgar. The amazing CJ Boo. And we're here to talk about a few things. Mainly about DC news, so let's start out first. I got one. Let's oh, okay. Let's, go, let's talk about the Supergirl. My, my main... It's on my mind right now. Um, how do you guys feel about the Supergirl TV show? I think it's about time we got a Supergirl TV show, because for me, I I always felt that, that Supergirl should have a TV show. Um, they've done sort of of a live-action format on Smallville and some television shows, but... I really, really, really want uh, to see this thing work out, and and hell, they got the they got the best team right now. They got the guys who did Arrow and Flash, so I can't see this show go any wrong. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I think it's gonna be in the same universe. So. Well, I do have to state this: we don't know if Flash is gonna be good. We know Arrow is good, and we can suspect that it's probably going to be good. But until that and we've seen episodes, it could be bad. They could have, uh, Arrow could just be a fluke. Um, because I will say this about Arrow. Mm -hmm. In the first season, the worst episodes were written by the series creators. Like, any time there was a great episode, you knew that the guys who created that show weren't working on it. Like, that was a pattern that happened. Like, the best... Yeah, so... The show could be great, but I'm just saying that we don't, that so far they have only got one that we know is good. So is this well, going to be on the CW? Or is no, gonna... no, it's, it's completely confirmed that it will not be on the CW. Is it going to be uh, on... No, that's not true. Is it going to be on Fox? <laughs> I'm joking. There was, a new, there was a new article that came out um, recently that basically said it does not have a network and no, CW has not passed on it, okay? That just came out today. Okay. Okay, that's what the sent me earlier. Yes, yes. So that's good. Well, I don't know if that's good or bad, actually. No. So, well, I mean, that if they do do the Supergirl show, that it better be that she's super. She's freaking Claw cousin. He that she's Supergirl from the damn show, like from the comics, and what she is. I don't want to see a different version. I'm sick of this. I thing. think. I think. I think this is what the series should, the first season should be, you know, for me, this is how I see it. I don't it. think we're going to see Superman in it, though. I, re I would put Superman just for uh, one episode, I like the pilot. You he mentions? She crashed Lance to Earth, and because Krypton was going to be destroyed, and after no, that... No, I know where she lands, but eventually when she's Superman, no, no, she I don't, leaves. No, I think no, the, she the way you go... The way I think you go about this is that you basically... I mean, I know the Supergirl movie isn't that good, but she wasn't in Metropolis in that. I know but, that. But I, I know how to fix that problem. You have her in Smallville. It could work. Yeah. I would have that for the first season, too. But the first and season... And basically <laughs> just in basically in the beginning of the show, you have her established, and you basically explain that Superman has sent her here to basically because of something that happened. And, yeah, we try to be ironic that we're back in Smallville. Yeah. <laughs> but it would have been cooler if that's what it was, just a spin-off with the Laura Vondemore chick or whatever from that well, show. The thing about this is, this is being made, from what I originally read, is this is being made by the guy who did Smallville. There's a, there's a, there's a possibility this could be a spin-off of Smallville. It's not likely, but it's possible. I hope it is. I hope it is. Uh, yeah, and then yeah. if it is, then would that mean that Tom Welling can come back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be. It would be cool if he just shows up just as Clark here and there. I would just have her be a teenager. Like, can't we just have her, uh, this character, be a teenager and have her go to high school? I mean, like, and have her do teenager stuff, but also doing fighting? That's I mean, probably what the show's going to be, yeah. I mean, I would like to see the suit. I don't want to see a Smallville version. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't want to see, like, oh, she has this this other suit that's not really the Supergirl suit yet, and she's just wearing a blue dress, and... Yeah, and I'll be like, this get is a shirt. At some point in Smallville? Yeah, eventually. She didn't wear the S, though. 
Yeah. It would make yeah. sense if that's where they went. You know, with fucking it right at Smallville. If it was but I kind of what I think they're going to do, and this is just my hint, is I think they're going to build their own Justice League. And I think they're going to build the Justice League without Batman and Superman. Yeah, I think that can Arrow work. That can is, work. I, I think Arrow is going to be their Batman. I think Supergirl is going to be their Superman. Um, and they're just going to build out from there. That's that, going to be fixing how they, you know, a fucking actual... Justice United, because uh, she's in, uh, Supergirl's in uh, Justice League team, so... They should get the trick from Heroes. It would make... Uh, that it's would be TV cool actress. That was she's known cool. for being in a TV show. She's not really that big of an actor. Yeah, but she's in a TV show currently. I'm sure she'll stop being in that to be this. To be this. <laughs> um, <More> well, <laughs> bad news is she's the star of that TV series, and I think it got renewed. Kill her off. <laughs> well, maybe she'll do both. There's people that... That's rare. I have to agree on John on that. Um, I want Chloe. Because it's not going to happen. We're not I know that. Actress. I know. My tip will never Why don't you think we're going to get... She's way too big of an actress to be in a TV show. She, she's really that, not... She, her movies that nobody cares about... Her, her movies that are not even comic book movies make $20 million opening week. She's going to yeah, fucking... Exactly. She, she would not do show. a show now. Is, is she doing different. any films at the moment? She's done... Uh, if I stayed, um, it I hasn't been a lot of big things, huh? Yeah, I, I think she. I don't think she would do it. That's just my opinion. That's uh, that. that and I that's, mean, but I mean, but we have seen recently uh, even bigger people be TV shows. What well, like uh, Nick Cumberbatch from Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, but that was before he was calm. No, that was before he was big. Oh, okay. No, um, uh, oh, the guy from Dread. Call Urban. Yeah, but he's not that big of an actor either. His movies don't he's do good. He's bigger than Chloe. No, he's but, not. Not yeah, right he now is. he isn't. His movies are bombing. And he, his show just got canceled. No, I understand, but I'm just saying that actor, like, uh, Chloe, uh, Chloe is... Nowhere near the top of, of of the acting, and I would put them in about the same position. I mean, that guy has headlined movies before. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I don't agree with, but but you know, I don't really think that she would. I, maybe I could be proven wrong that she does it, but I don't. It would be I mean, fantastic. But the, but the trade off is the the trade off of a TV show and a movie, and this is why she might do it is. A TV series is constant work. You're always getting paid. You get paid. Uh, there's never going to be a dry spell. Um, you basically have to constantly do that. But she could depend. She can demand a half a million dollar paycheck. Maybe they're not going to pay her to do that. They get. They're, they're not. They're just going to make it. We might not even know who they're going to cast. This might be a totally unknown. No. no. Unknown, it could actor, be. unknown actress, which I'm all for. It's just I just wish that you know if it, if it if I had to pick, there's no I way they're gonna be like, well, yeah, let's pay Chloe Grace Martz to over fucking twenty million to do a show when we an unknown chick that's probably just as good of an actress. There is another actress that I think could do it too. It's just I don't know is she is she available? Um, hold on, I'm gonna get her name. Well, let me just name some movies. Just to make my argument, I know you disagree with me, okay? Um, Star Trek, Riddick, um, Doom, that wasn't that big, um, The Bourne Supremacy, Lord of the Rings. Now, he's not the star in any of these. He's not even the secondary character in any of these. He's third or below, but he is a major character in all of these movies. So he has been in he has been in much bigger movies than Chloe. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I think we'll agree. I, I think we can agree. Lord of the Rings is a much bigger movie than what Chloe Grace Moretz has ever been in. Do yep. you agree? On yep, I can agree on that. But that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Yeah. I don't know anything. What is your thoughts on this? 
I just hope it's in the same universe as Arrow and Flash, really. That, yeah, because... That this would... Yeah, it would be cool, yeah. This is my choice. For the act... For if... Like, this is like... I kind of... I kind of hope they get an unknown, somebody who's in high school right now, probably. That would be perfect, but... Um, because you could do more seasons, uh, if you have a teenager actress, you could have, uh, you could have her stay in. I don't know, I would rather her already be Supergirl, just already... I agree with you on that. Because it would just be like, let's focus a whole season. I mean, I guess, like, Flash is gonna be, he's not really Flash yet either, so I don't know. I think that'd be cool, though, if she was... No of the first but you season. can't do it without Superman, though. You have to have Superman in the show to develop her. It wouldn't make sense. So, you, not necessarily, because here's how... If, if they can't use Superman, here's how I think they go about it, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They basically just have... They basically have a scene or two developing that Superman has met her. Um, Superman is the one that found her. And basically, she is... But basically, she's been sent to the Kent's farm to hone her abilities and to learn and to learn how to be an earthling. And the show is about her learning to be an earthling, learning to adapt to this new world. Well the um Kents do you think? What? The Kents. Yeah, they would have to have the Kents if they went this route. Would you be against that idea? No, not really. No. I mean it would be literally the reverse of Smallville. Yeah. Smallville was about Clark, uh, uh, somebody who thought he was a human, learning how to be a Kryptonian, where this would be a Kryptonian learning how to be a human. Yeah. Yeah. That would That'd be, be great. great. Yeah. And, have, and have her be a just... Uh, it would be cool to see her, like, trying to fucking, like, how she was in Smallville, like, trying to fit in with her friends and stuff, but she's, like, superpowers super superpowers and shit. What type of villains does she have? Because I don't know much about Supergirl. Uh, it would be, it would, mo- it would mainly be, and actually, um, here's one reason why you, this might actually be likely. If I'm not mistaken, one of the Flash villains is a Superman villain. I think they have cast a Superman villain, which I believe they'd cast Livewire. I'm not 100% positive. I'm actually going to look it up right now. I want Brainiac in Supergirl. It makes sense. I don't yeah, think we'll... yeah, 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 because uh, in one of the Brainiac versions, she hooks up with them. In pre-52. Just, just pre-52. No, I'm just saying Brainiac destroys the city, isn't it? Uh, Sorry. no, I don't know, that's a little too big, but I, if you're going to go with I any think Brainiac... I going to be like, she has, like, just to save minor things, like, you know, bed robbers or shit like that or something. I don't think we're going to see any, like... Any of Superman's either. I think we will because, like, we see Batman's villains on Arrow. Yep. Dead shot. Um. Sure. Roz, Roz I think there's Rich. characters like Livewire. There's there, there are smaller characters they can use. Heck, we're getting a Roz next season. Yep. Okay. It's how a- much bigger, other than the Joker? How much bigger Batman villain can you get on that show? Do you know? <laughs> Great. Roz, cool. I mean, Roz is arguably the second biggest Batman villain. Yeah, we... that's yeah, that's, and it kind of sucks too. I want to say something about I want to say something about Arrow. It kind of sucks that in Gotham we we can't get a Batman TV show, but in Arrow we practically have a, a have it. We practically have a, t- a Batman TV show, but not starring Batman. And that's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, would have been cool to see a Batman, just Batman, straight up Batman show. Yeah. It, yeah. It's just, I just really wish that we could have had. It's just I, I'm just really kind of disappointed. I know, Mark. Uh, yeah, it's basically confirmed that it is a Commissioner Gordon TV show now. Like, I've seen people have watched the episode. It's Commissioner Gordon, no way. Good. I think that's It's gonna be because Bruce is only like 12, you know. Mark, you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's your thoughts on that? Well, it's Commissioner Gordon TV show. And well, I don't like the characters that are in the show. I wish it was just a straight Commissioner Gordon. 
You know what I wish the show was? What? This is what... Okay, there's two things that I would have preferred this show to be, and it's neither of it. Um, A, be it about the fall of Gotham, about how about how there's three character, uh, there's three uh, there's three good citizens in Gotham trying to save Gotham from itself. Um, Commissioner Gordon, the Waynes, Thomas Wayne, and Martha Wayne. Yeah. And they're yeah. trying to save this city, and they're working together. And where Commissioner Gordon uh, does things through his police contacts, they use economics and finances to try to save the city. And the show ends with all three of them failing. And the failure ends up with the Waynes dying because they couldn't fix the city. That's the first idea. Is anybody against that idea? Um, okay, okay, I can see that. I'm all for that. Yeah, that would have been cool. That'd be good if that was season one. And then, you know, moving on to Bruce and then building I mean, up the character. The entire series. Oh, the whole series. And oh, okay. And then we get to see, like, like basically you cast a very young Bruce. When I mean very young Bruce... I mean, uh, a two- or three-year-old Bruce, and every year you actually get to see Bruce becoming closer and closer to, to that time when he actually gets to see his parents get killed. And you can have Bruce in the TV series and that. The other idea, and this is, they're also not doing this idea, even though this is closer to what they're doing, ironically, um, is... Oh, you marked you there? Uh, uh, yes. Another idea they could have done is have this during the seven years where Bruce is training and have it about Commissioner Gordon dealing with how the city has been has been this successful and uh, it it ends with Bruce coming back. Okay. I can, watch that. I can totally see that. I, I'll watch that, no problem. Yeah, that's a yeah. cool idea. See, I don't know why choose either one of those ideas. I think those ideas would have been better, personally. See, I wish that Gotham was on seat. I mean, it could be on the same universe as Arrow and Flash and, like, build around with Supergirl. That'd be sick. That's what they should have done, yeah. I wish Constantine was on CW. That's the one I wish kind of more. Because wow. that's a character that they can use. But... And... I'd love them to build... Like, Constantine would have been a cool member to join them and help them out. Yeah. I don't know how much you know about Constantine, but I think Constantine... But I do think Constantine's going to be a completely different tone from that. So I think they want to keep Constantine alone. And you know what the cool thing about Constantine is? Mm hmm? Mm hmm Toro, the guy who wants to, uh, who wants to do a... Who wants to do a Justice League Dark... And said he has no problems casting that guy as Constantine. Basically, connect the TV series. To yeah, the he has no. If, if they can work it out, he has one hundred percent no problem casting TV act or casting TV actors in his movie. Even if the movies aren't connected, even if this is a different version of Constantine, he's still okay with casting that actor. Yeah. Did you guys see that? Link about Bruce Wayne getting killed off in Gotham. Yeah, that's freaking retarded. And if they do, that's just fucking retarded. It's like, it's like he, when I read it, I'm like, what? Don't make any sense. That would not make any sense. <laughs> it's like it would be better to kill off Clark Kent because you could continue it out off off the small bit. I'm like, no, no, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> it would put you would change the story. You, uh, this, uh, God, if I talk anymore, I'll make. <laughs> I'm still gonna give that show a chance. That that whole show, I'm gonna give it a first season. I'm still okay. I'm still here. It's just like I'm still, yeah. I'm here too. It's just, for me. I'm just I'm just a little like yeah. I wish that they could have gotten a Batman TV show now. Like I'm at where you guys are at. I'm like, glad that we still have something at least. We have Ben Affleck's Batman coming soon, so it's not like the end of the world that we're not getting it. Yeah, yet. yeah, but it's just like. We won't see characters that we wouldn't see, like maybe Poison, Poison Ivy or any other movie care any characters from Batman. We wouldn't see like Hush or well, huh? Something that uh, something that blows himself up, dude said that I think is actually kind of cool. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a small spoiler for uh, for Arrow. If you want me to stop, Arrow uh, season. Huh? 
Season two. No, season one. I don't care. Okay. Um, just give me a second to get an actor's name. John Berryman, I think, is his name. Yeah, I think it's John Berryman. Oh, John Berryman, the... You, the um, he's the Arrow guy, you know? The, the opposite uh, version of Arrow. If you know? I remember correctly, he's a, he's a very, very, very big character on, uh, on Doctor Who. Yeah, he's, um... Okay, yeah, John Berryman. Is the face, well, is the face of Bogan? Well, Captain Jack Harkness. Yeah. Um, thanks for spoiling that show. Um, uh, basically, uh, John Berryman, um, is a reverse Batman. Yeah. In that show. He's a guy who was trained by the League of Shadows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, who basically came back to a city that was falling apart and decided to become a master criminal to save the city. Isn't that a reverse Batman? Yeah. Anti-Batman. <laughs> and he was away for five years. Wow. Very similar to Batman. Or a couple of years. I don't. I actually it might not be five years. Well, the point of it is, is that literally Batman is on that show. I'll call what I'll call I'll call what to get season two of our role this month man. He's just not called Batman. He's Did any yep, of you yep. see the um set photos of the, the Batmobile now is on set? Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't see that. It's sick. It's not really a good picture though, but I don't I don't know, I'm not crazy about how the front of the Batmobile looks yet. I still have to see how it looks. Does it have that does it have that does it have that uh does it have that really uh quirky um, bat symbol in front? Uh, no, I don't think so. It just looks like a okay. big ass... I don't know, it's just like it's... I don't know, the front to me, it just looks... I don't know, I have to see how it looks in the movie. I heard there's going to be a Batmobile car chase scene in the film. Yeah. So, I don't know what's going to happen there. It's going to be cool, either way. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I wanted to ask you guys something. Did you see Vision's look? Of Avengers 2? No, yes. I haven't. Oh, Are you want me to give you it? I, 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 I yeah, send me it. the picture on here. Well, no, not well, send me the picture me. of the Batmobile because all I'm seeing are all I'm seeing are images of all I could find were images of Gotham City police cars, which are kind of disappointing. I have to be honest, the cars disappoint me. Why? Uh, I like it. It looks like a cop car. It does not look. It looks like a cop car from today. It does not look like a cop car from the thirties. <laughs> they're in the they're in the two thousands. I mean, they're not going to have old fashioned cars. They probably did at one point. No, no, but I understand. But I'm just saying that, like, I love with Gotham. This is just personally me. At, people could disagree, but I love when Gotham looks like it's in the thirties or forties. But then they have cell phones. It doesn't matter. I just like that look for it. I like the um. I mean, like, you can have modern cars driving around, but I'd love, like, the, the, the cabs and the, uh, and the cop cars. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, know, I know what Mark's talking about, like, um, late 19th century Victorian times. Oh, yeah, he looks fucking sick. Is that really him? Yeah, that's him, that's him. Uh, he, looks all, he looks just like the comic book character. Like, the, he's the, com- yeah. I was going to say, the first picture of Vision I saw... In Avengers 2, look, the back of him looked like Magneto flying up. <laughs> yeah, and that looks, it, it looks like a lot of Magneto, that first picture. But this one was ten times better. There's even a better picture with him with the Avengers. And they're in the back of it with a watchtower. Yeah. That looks sick, though. He's probably going to steal the show in that movie. Of course he is. He's awesome. He- you should, he's always stealing the show in the comics. He's always awesome. You, you're going to love him. Do you think Vision's job is? Could I think be. that's pretty much, yeah, because it's the same actor, right? Yeah. It could, it could be it. Yeah. Anywho, um, what else we could talk about? I, I heard um, a Flashpoint story mode, storyline might be in Flash. TV uh, it would be really, really weird, but it kind of 
like it'd be really weird because a lot of the key characters wouldn't be there. I know one thing we haven't talked about yet. What? what? Black Adam. Oh, the rock. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah, the rock. I'm sure he's gonna do great as. I think the movie's gonna suck. You think it is gonna suck? I really Shit. do. I think it's Shit. gonna suck. Damn. Because it has nothing to do with anything that's the DC Cinematic Universe. It's not well, made by Warner Brothers. They're means... not going to have Shazam in it. It's just going to be a villain movie. Are we sure it's not going to have Shazam? I've been hearing it is. It's going to be Shazam. It's going to. We're going to see. If it doesn't Captain. have Shazam in it, then I think that it's going to be a fucking. But it's just going to be another what? Hercules. It's going to probably suck just as much as Hercules. <laughs> but let me give you a little bit of logic that might change your mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. The best. DC movies have been standalone movies. Look at the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah. Maybe this will be like the maybe this will be like like the Dark Knight trilogy. It will be amazing, and everyone will be like, "Why is that not part of the universe?" I should not be sick. Hey, yeah, look at Arrow. Look at Arrow. That shit. That shit. That show is freaking amazing. You put that in a movie, you can make that. You, you put those episodes into a movie. That still, it would be great. And yeah. now I. I still ask, like, why isn't this, why isn't this is in the, in the DC Cinematic Universe? I wish it was. Uh, yeah, I guess they here. just want to do other movies on their own, too. They don't want everything to be the same. Yeah. It's just, I don't, I don't know. I, th I think The Rock should have played somebody totally different. I think he should have been Darkseid or Doomsday or fucking Green Lantern. I don't see I think they're wasting, I think they're wasting him, and he should have been in. No, the no, no. I think he's a perfect choice for it. I think Black he's Adam. a good choice for Black Adam. He looks like him, but there's so many better characters that I would rather them seen him play than some, you know, I'm, not, I'm not saying I don't like Black Adam or Shazam. It's just, it would have been yeah. cool to see The Rock in a Justice League movie or as a yeah. more here. I will, he fits it. Uh, I'm going to say this right now. I wanted him for Shazam. Shazam. He definitely fits that character, but he also fits with Black Adam. How, and He might just play both. <laughs> The that, that would be that would be that would be funny. That would be funny. That actually kind of that actually weirdly enough that actually could work. Yeah. Um, out of all the things that couldn't work, that actually could because the explanation would be that when they gain this power, that's just to look like they they just look like that. That's how they would explain that. Um, now, how difficult would that movie be to make? Not that hard. You know, I don't know. Maybe. For having two major characters that have to fight each other be different actors. That would be... What they well, I always would they... think that if they ever do Doomsday, I mean, not Doomsday, uh, Bizarro, it should be the same actor. Yeah, so that, but you that know how you... Would, problem. You know how I would personally do that, and I don't know if people are against it. Tell me if you'd be for this. And, I, and I'll do Bizarro, okay? Um, basically, hire another actor that's about the same build as the actor playing Superman, okay? Mm-hmm. And see Joey's face. Uh, physical, physically, they look almost identical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, from neck, uh, from neck below, their body types look identical. Um, and then what you do is you 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 have that, and then you just CG the face on. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be hard to uh, have someone the same build as Henry Cavill, because well, Henry Cavill's a beast. I think Black Adam will probably be the one that they'll CGI The Rock's face on and give him a freaking, like, you know, like a different, disgruntled, must, messed up version of how Shazam looks. Like, The Rock will look, you know, just normal, and then it'll just be a makeup, you know, makeup and all this stuff to make him look fucked up version of The Rock. You know what I mean? Yeah. They won't look like the same exact person, they're just... They would look like the same. They just wouldn't look exactly the same. You know, it'd kind of be interesting. Hmm. Um, is if they? It'd be interesting if they go with um, if they actually do a Black Adam origin story. That would be and, fucking awesome. That would be awesome. I would be. And all they for basically, that. and they basically tell the story because Black Adam um is like from the Egyptian times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it'd be interesting to see that idea. Would you yeah. put him in the Would you put him in the Arrow universe if it's separate? I don't know. I don't. I think this is just going to be a separate movie, and if it does good, they'll make sequels. Yeah. I just. I don't know. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's going to be a fucking. I don't know. Now I do. I will say this. I do think The Rock is too big of an actor to be in. Uh, to be in TV now. Yeah. Other than wrestling. 
um, because I think he's passionate about that, and that changes everything. Yeah. I think the actor, I think that actor is too big. Because that actor has headlined movies. Even though some of them bomb, he has headlined really big blockbuster-like movies. I heard he was going to be Black Adam. Theater, Theater, Theater hated it. He was the main character in the G.I. Joe movie. And that is a that is a summer blockbuster, um, expensive Hollywood movie. Uh, yeah. Even though I think that movie sucked. <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying good or bad. I'm just saying that, yeah. Be it that that movie sucked, that, that's fine. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying that is a that is a bigger movie than um, than a movie like Kick Ass. Kick Ass was a thirty million dollar movie. That was over a hundred million dollar movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just wish Kick Ass that... is a better movie. I'm not. That's absolutely true. Yeah. I just wish Dwayne the, the Rock Johnson was dark sided. I don't see him as dark side. I don't. I just don't, like, I don't see it in him. You know, it's like, he, 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 yeah, he might have the body, body, but I don't see him as Darkseid. Darkseid should be, like, should get another actor that, that's right for the role. I just, I don't know who, but... Ter- Terry Crews. No, I don't know, but, I don't know, but, <laughs> but maybe. I don't know. That, that, uh, why? Because, you know, he's like a comedian, and he's not even that... No. Uh, no. Maybe as fucking Steel, Terry Crews, but I can't see him play a villain. Do you think they'll ever do anything with Steel? Maybe. I don't think so. Sha- Shaquille O'Neal fucking bullshit. Shaq Daddy. But that's been separated from a long time. That's like 20 years ago, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, there's a the re- same thing happened with Supergirl. The Supergirl movie kind of tainted Supergirl for a while, but now they're actually looking into that character to do something with. Yeah. I'm, I hear the you fuck. If anything, I think they're just going to go with an unknown actress anyway. I don't even yeah, that's, that, that's what we should. Did you look the actress? Anybody we know. Guys, I don't think they'll get anyone we know. Did you did you look that the actress that uh, that's my second choice? Yeah. Did you, can you see her playing that character? Yeah. Who was your second choice? What's the name? Uh, I linked it down below. Anna oh. Sophia or something? Yeah. It's like, that would be, that'd be good. And I'm like, that's a good choice. Uh, so. So, so you use Bing? Yeah. You use Bing. Supergirl, Supergirl should be between yeah, 18 and 21. But no, no, but seriously, we have a big issue here. Who uses Bing? I don't know. I don't know. Not me. You guys don't, aren't concerned about that? That somebody just wants you to Bing? I hate No. I'm sorry. Every time I install something from Windows, it says, Do you want to switch your search to Bing? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, no, yeah. I like Google. Go, shooing. It's, shoo. it's a search engine, isn't it? Yes, it's Microsoft search engine. <laughs> it's not that bad. No, but it's not as good as Google. <laughs> no. So every time I install something, I install software from, from Google, free software from my computer, it's like, would you like us to install Bing? No. Would you like us to install Bing? No. Would you like Bing to be your search engine? No! Oh my god, no, I have to say no! <laughs> That's no. funny. That's just funny. Let, go ma- have Mark go fetch you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, but, I, heard, I was going to say, I heard today that, you know, Jason Momoa, he said he's mm-hmm. excited about Batman v Superman, so we should be Aquaman, I think. He's fucking Aquaman. Oh yeah, he's definitely I... Aquaman. Oh yeah, he's going. He's to be gonna awesome. be in it like at the end though, probably. Yeah. And, and we and how? Huh? But <laughs> how would you react to this scene? Batman beats Superman, and then Aquaman comes and says, "It's not over yet. You have to take on me." Oh, oh yeah. and he says, "You gotta face the the King of Atlantis, <laughs> and do have an epic epic." Uh, Let's talk about this for a second, okay? The theory that I don't like, I don't think John likes, but I want all your opinions on this. The theory that 
that the Atlanteans and the Amazonians are going to be the ancestor or oh, are going to be the to yeah, era. It's fucking retarded. Yeah, that's and, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can we can we fast forward? Can you tell me? Can you tell explain me, theory. No, can you tell me? Can you tell me? Retell me that? I didn't hear you a little bit. Just can you repeat that again. He's saying the Ackerman people and the um, the Am the Amazons are um, descendants of Supergirl. That would be fucking retarded. I don't want it to. Ha I want them to be completely different. It's you know, completely different freaking. You know. I mean, like that would be like what the fuck? That sounds like a Marvel poll to me. Then that doesn't really like. That kind of surprises me because Marvel has been doing things like after Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel has shown that they don't have they don't mind doing that. That sounds more like that sounds more like we don't want to we don't want to have all these races. Like, why does Earth have all of these different races but nobody's heard of them? Um, but that still doesn't fix the problem because that's twenty thousand years ago. And to me, first of all, is it would mean we're never getting Supergirl, ever. Yo, Edgar, did you hear mm. about, since the success of Guardians of the Galaxy DC, want to do uh, the Legion film? I wouldn't be surprised. They got their asses. They, they, DC, Marvel got kicked their fucking asses with their Guardians. They, they didn't kick anybody's asses. They made another movie that made money. Nobody's fighting anybody here. Yeah, I know. It's like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just... What happened after Guardians of the Galaxy? Hmm? That DC would have taken notes and gone... Oh, that's how you make a Green Lantern movie. Yeah, okay. exactly. You have him already in space. You have him stay in space, deal with conflict. Yeah. You have him not go to Earth. Oh, okay, not go to Earth. Oh, we didn't know that. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> Sorry if you think I'm taking MDC a little bit. But if they had done a few more things that Guardians of the Galaxy did, that Green Lantern movie, w movie would have been better. Yeah. Guardians the made... was there. Then going back to Earth ruined that movie. I'm sorry, it ruined that movie. Ruined that movie. Guardians I have to agree Ma on, on Mark on that. Even yeah. though I did enjoy it, it's just it's still they could have just had them. That's could definitely have. the weakest DC film out out there. Yeah, and it's just well, it, if, you, it, if you count as a good one, I'm it not is talking it, about bad. Movies. Cause I'm not uh, well. The, I don't the think worst... it's a bad movie. I just think it's the weakest of it. Uh, yeah, you know I, mean? I like, agree. I think it's a good movie. It's just a weak good movie. It's like mm -hmm. I'm gonna say something that you guys, that some of you might disagree with. I think it's about as good as Turtles. Like Turtles or hate Turtles, I think it's about like there to where the pieces are good. Mm -hmm. The whole does come together to make a good movie. Mm -hmm. Like. There's stuff you can grab there and go, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. But then there are pieces that you go, and I think it has, and I think it has some of the similar problems that like weak villain and stuff like that, that, that that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. And it mixes them together and the whole suffers from there being good pieces and bad pieces. That's how I feel about Green Lantern. The only thing that sucks about it is that we can't get a sequel and they can fix it. At least Turtles, it made money and they're going to get a sequel and they can fix that. Yes. Um, but I have more. I, I would have more faith with Green Lantern that they would fix the problems. Yeah. Yeah. Like they should have just fucking made a sequel. It's pretty far in Ultimate Justice League. There you go. I hope. I think they I, think that Green Lantern is just not. I don't even think they're gonna use Green Lantern in Justice League right away. I think they're gonna wait until like the second movie to put Green Lantern. I have an inkling that we're the next time we see Green Lantern is not gonna be on the big screen. Yeah. I think TV. the first Justice League movie is going to be Aquaman, Superman, Batman, uh, what's his name? Fucking uh, Cyborg and Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Yeah. First Su Justice League movie. Then do you know where I, we're seeing, uh, uh, do you know where I think we're going to see Green Lantern next? Where? In, and this is very minor, I think it shows it in the trailers, um, in the Flash pilot, um, we're going to get Hal Jordan in the Flash pilot. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, no. Hal Jordan's not in it. Um, Carol um, Airways, Air something, is in it. Oh, Cara Ferris? Yes. Yeah. Cara Ferris Air, Airways. 
the company that he works for is in that show. Oh. And Green Lantern and Flash are buddies. They work together a lot. Like they, 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 they are a good team up. They team up a lot. What if it was Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> <laughs> that, do you think Ryan Reynolds is too big to be? Uh, no, to be now, on? no. Every movie he's made recently is just bombed. He just sucked his dead poor man. I mean, no, no, I no, no. he might still have, he might, it might just be the movies he was in. I don't blame him for any of the bad movies he's in. Yeah, I blame the good. movies. Yeah. You know, like, he was good in them, it's just the movies themselves weren't. Mm. I mean, okay, going back to this for a second, um, I think the biggest actor I can think of off the top of my head that actually said he would be in a TV show, I don't know if he's ever been in one, was, uh, was Liam Neeson. I think we yeah, can agree. why the he, fuck didn't they just get him and they got some dude that looks nothing like Fraz Al Ghul? I mean, I'm sure they'll make him look like him. He'll look like him later in the show. It's just, if, yeah. he, if he said he would do it, why not? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, I would be all for it. You, He owned that, he, he owns that character so much that I, th I can't see anyone do it. And it would have been cool to see a more, more, more version of him than we got. We didn't really get the full out Fraz Al Ghul in Batman Begins. Mm -hmm. We got him, but it's not... Like, in this show, they would have probably just made it that he's just the same actor. He just played him in a different movie, and it's just, just a different version. Yeah. Did, did you hear the rumors well, about... You know, see what I wish they would have done? I don't think they would have ever done this. Hmm. But just connect it to the Nolanverse. You don't ever have to have anything that you don't want. Just connect it to the Nolanverse. Yeah. Exactly. I was gonna See, but if you did that, then wouldn't he be dead then? That's probably why they didn't do it, because Roz died there. And then later it pretty much confirms and rises that he is dead. Because freaking Talia is like, he killed my father and all this stuff. Yeah, that's true. So he died in that. Then they would have to be like, well, he didn't die, he faked his death, and Talia just doesn't know where he is and thinks he's dead. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and they'll basically kind of like saying like, well, the, the Batman Dark Knight trilogy is in canon with the Arrow universe in a flash. Well, uh, it's kind of ironic that that show takes so much from the Nolan verse. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know how far you're into it, John, but it's like, they take actual plot I mean, off. even freaking Oliver Queen, like, the, you know, it's the same, you know, he comes back, he's got a, a girlfriend that's an attorney, you know, district attorney, he's got the the, 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 the guy, you know, the guy, the guy friend that's, you know, who helps him and shit like that, and fucking, he, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, he comes he's back, got he's a gone butler. for a while. He's got a butler that, uh, that assists him and knows his identity. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or not a butler, but a, uh, but a, uh, body the same clerk thing drives that drives him around, yeah. Yeah. What was his name? Diggle? <laughs> Diggle? What? Was his name yeah, Diggle. Why the fuck did they name him Diggle? Why? Diggle. He's not even in the Green Arrow comics, is he? He was just a new character in the... But why name him Diggle? I think Diggle, he is Diggle, now. Diggle, 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 Diggle. <laughs> That's what that, Are you... Does that No, I you like know? the character he's in. It's just that name is weird. Yeah, let's get <laughs> Diggle. I'm, we're trying to be really serious, and Diggles need to be uh, saved. Diggle. <laughs> Did, did you guys um, hear about the rumors about Ben did it combo batch might be Brainiac or Marshman Hunter? I know I don't want him as Martian Manhunter. Would you like him as Brainiac? That's perfection. <laughs> yeah, I know one. I know one. One of my friends my wants him. For... Is Brainiac? <laughs> yeah, no, dude, that would be that would be just epic. I would just I'm like, oh, dead. He, he, he was awesome in Star Trek Into Darkness. Just like I could totally see that him. It's like, yeah. I would now that's a big actor that that does do TV. Yeah, no. Not a huge actor, but that is a big actor. But, but yet again, let's be fair. He became big after television. Yeah. yeah. I'd have a geek gasm if he's Broniak. He probably oh, yeah. would be. I think we need to get a couple of doctors in a. In either Marvel or DC, I don't know who would play. I don't know who David Tennant will be. <laughs> the I don't know. David Tennant could probably be anybody. It could be Rick Love. 
He could be Catwoman, and I don't think I could play. <laughs> I'd be like, that's a very masculine Catwoman, but okay. Catman. <laughs> He's actually a character named Catman. Yeah. He's a boxer. Yeah. Is he? Is he on Arrow? I think he is. I think he's coming to Arrow. Catman. Um, yeah. Cat yeah. Catman. <laughs> what? There is a DC character named Catman. He's coming to Arrow. Yes. Yeah. I, I heard. So I heard. I, Are you I don't know. I, 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 like I could be wrong. <laughs> no, season three. The cat cave and. <laughs> the cat family, cat girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, there is a cat. I think there is. It does exist for a cat girl. But anywho, um, cat girl. Well, I think put Selena Kyle in Arrow. Cat. That would make sense. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I think we got our Selena Kyle already. It's called. I think it should be an Arrow. I agree. But the, here's the thing, that's never going to happen now because Steve McQueen just basically shattered our hopes and dreams. Thanks, man. What he, said, he, he said he was just joking around. He was just, he said, hey, the ex, the, the director. I think that they're just saying that because he might be in Batman v Superman, that's why. I might, think we're going to see Nightwing somehow. You you think he'll come? You think he's gonna be in? He's gonna he's you think he's gonna be in? Uh, in Batman vs. Yeah, because half it, the movie takes place in Gotham. I wouldn't mind that because hell, he would be, he's still my first choice for a reboot Batman series. So it would make me happy because he's a great actor and he can do bad. Oh, I don't think that kid's gonna be Nightwing though. I, mean, I think it'll be someone else. John wanted um. Daniel Radcliffe from Harry Potter. Yeah, that's who should play fucking. Uh, he could play Robin. I I I could see him as Tim Drake. I see him as Dick Grayson. As a matter of fact, I could see him play any Robin. Yeah. All right. Can we? All right. I'm gonna continue back to where we're saying. Anyway, I I just really wanted him to be an arrow, arrow, but it's just it's not gonna not gonna happen anytime soon. It sucks, though, because it would have made sense for him to be in it because he could have taught Arrow everything there is to know about Roz. Like, he well, has history with the Batman I, also. Well, yes, true. Yes and no. I would see... Yeah, I would see... See him helping... See him helping with uh, Stephen, McQ uh, Stephen McQueen if Dick Grayson ever came into the series. But also, I also see, like... Uh, Black Canary and whoever helps offer that, yeah, we face this, we know Ross Al Ghul is very dangerous, Be, we're just, we're going to help you out as best we can, this guy is just very deadly, and we're going to help you as best we can, try to protect you, and try to have it like he's all I know for one, one thing, you guys are making me want to watch Arrow even more now. <laughs> hey, hey. Probably just gonna we'll fucking watch it after this and just watch it from the beginning. Hey, every episode, you know? stop huh? everything and just watch Arrow. Oh. You haven't completed season one. Nope. Oh. Yeah. It's it's. No. I've completed no. season one. Born game season two definitely this month. So. Fail this city. Everybody says that, right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone doesn't like season one. I don't get it. I it always was good. It's just, it was just other things I was into. I was watching Walking Dead, yeah. and I think Dexter was still on then. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck this my, shit. My, 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 all my shows are gone. Like, Avengers gone. <laughs> Do you think Harley Quinn's gonna have a show back up on that show? Uh, I hear... Do you cuties need some counseling? I'm a trained yeah. therapist. That's <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh my god, that, 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 that I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> It was like, holy shit, I just completely just, just like, it, that sounds like the, that sounds like, uh, Harley from the animated series, holy I know. shit, I mean. It sucks that they didn't actually show a face in that clip. Yeah. They just show, like, in the darkness. Yeah, that, that's all you need to do, I mean. But if they have Harley Quinn, then that must mean that Batman is already Batman. Then. Yeah, yeah, that that that. And it couldn't that's... be with Gotham then, because God, it wouldn't, it couldn't be the same unless Gotham is like, way, 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 way back in the day. 
Well, I'm about to give a spoiler, so stop me if you don't want to hear a spoiler from the Flash. Oh. <laughs> it's a very small spoiler. Okay. And see, can see tiny spoiler. Does anybody want to stop me? No. Okay. There's a newspaper article from the future. Oh uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. That says Wayne Corp and and um and Queen Consolidate or whatever their company's called um, work together to do something. Oh yeah. That means at some point Bruce does come into the universe. Now that doesn't mean he's ever we're ever going to see him, but there is a Bruce Wayne, and it's most likely Batman. Pro, I bet five bucks that's going to be in a, that's going to be season six comic book, comic book. Shit. <laughs> comic book form. That's going to that's I can guarantee you that. Have you ever mentioned any Metropolis at all in Nero? I I I I, I don't I think they mentioned Bloodhaven at one point. I think so. I, I, I don't know. I I, I I have not heard not one Metropolis because I, if I did, I would have told you already. Yeah. But, <laughs> but what I could do tell you is they do mention that we all yeah like would. They might said, now they, in the season three because it's a Supergirl thing. Eh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I would think more likely Smallville. Yeah. Yeah. Why not just make the Smallville? Sh well, they can't because they already had an arrow on there. Yes, and he was kind of a major character, I think. I might be Yeah, he was... I haven't stuck around in that series because I couldn't handle the bullshit. All the uh, freaking lovey-dovey garbage. No, 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 no. It's just like this, this, the, the episode. Like, the freak the, of the week shit? Yeah, like... Oh, well, I stopped it after Legacy. I'm like, I couldn't handle this shit. <laughs> uh, I was like... The first I, season is probably the worst of the seasons. I thought it was fine. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was... The later seasons are so much better than the earlier seasons. Really? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I knew... Because the I know first it. couple of seasons, they're like all, you know, you know, fucking like, you know, what's that shit? Dawson Creek kind of garbage. <laughs> oh, I love Chloe, but she won't be with me. It's like the whole fucking... The whole first <laughs> season. Like the, I like the other stuff with Jonathan Kent... Clark, all that stuff is good. It's just the love fucking garbage I can't stand. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm watching freaking Dawson's Creek or some shit. <laughs> do you do you think this goes? Do you think this is possible? You know, Gotham you know, belongs to Fox. You know, if there was ma making a Batman show like after it, do you think CW could have it? And Gotham's like a prequel to it. Is that possible? Maybe. Probably. That would I would. Be cool, I want. I want. It, okay. Here's what. I, here's what I really, really want. The Warner Brothers just get off their asses. Just make a Batman TV show. We know you. We know you. You. We know. I you. mean, but we're talking as if like the new Batman thing we're getting is nothing. Hey, we got Ben Affleck coming out as Batman. We'd rather have a TV show. It's not like what we're getting now isn't cool. You know what I mean? We're gonna yeah, have. I know. I know that. It's just like I'm okay with Ben Affleck as Batman in the movies, I just, like, couldn't we have a TV series just for one season? One series. But what we, what if a Batman it's TV It's just show, that Batman makes so much money in movies that they just yeah, fucking... Yeah, I know, I know, but I know that. And uh, that's kind of sad, because you could make so much seasons, mm -hmm. which just people would just, Black like... Black could do, like, a whole entire show, probably. No. I've, I've, I've actually, I've actually done a pitch, a pitch for a uh, Batman TV series. Oh, yeah, uh, it's freaking brilliant. But, um, I like you but, right. uh, but I will ask you this. I just want your guys' opinion on this idea, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your honest opinion, okay? Uh-huh. What if they did a Justice... Now, they're never going to do this. Let me clarify. I'm not saying they're ever going to do this. What if they did a Batman series, or not a Batman series, a Justice League series without Batman and Superman? I think there already are, the Arrow stuff. Yeah, uh... No, so, can they make a Hollywood movie without those two characters? It would be dumb. It, it would, it would, you would, you would get your ass script. We uh, already have I, that, and it's fucking on YouTube, and it's shit. It was a movie that they were, it was like some TV Justice League movie. It had, yeah. it yeah, had it was, uh, sort of Green Lantern, it had sort of fucking... 
fucking, what do you call it? It had Martian Manhunter, it had, I think it had Flash, I don't know. But it was shit. Yeah. But it did absolutely had Flash, and it also had Ice. Yeah. I think a Green Lantern TV show would work. Yeah. I don't know. A Green Lantern TV show would be really hard to do, because it would be very costly. Have you ever seen the CGI animated Green Lantern show? I do. No, I don't like how it looks. So I don't like how it looks either, but you get used to it. It reminds me of The Incredibles. It's good. It's really yeah. good. It's a fantastic. Really good, but, I mean, I'm not a huge enough Green Lantern fan to get over that. Have you guys seen the two animated movies? No, yeah. only two. Only two yes, movies. yes, absolutely, I have, yeah. And, John? John? It's fucked oh. up that, that that animated movie is better than the actual live-action movie. I was yeah. going to say that more of the people are saying that. <laughs> but you know why it's better than live-action movie? Because they never go to Earth. Nope. Why? Because That's part of the reason, but the real reason is because Chip is in it. If Chip had been in the other movie, it would have been a better movie. <laughs> we all... Admit it to yourself. The reason you know what's stupid? Sucks. Like you said, that they have all these fucking... They have a rock version of a Green Lantern. They have a, a, a plant eye thing. And they're like, yeah, a mouse, a, a, a squirrel that's a Green Lantern is too weird. Yes. How does that make sense? You already have a freaking yes. talking plant. You know what's the ironic thing? Creature. You know what's the ironic thing? is way fucking more, you know, ridiculous than Chip. <laughs> ah. Absolutely. And the ironic part is... Is that, uh, is that Marvel or, decided... Yeah, they didn't say, well, yeah, let's get rid of freaking Rocket and make him nobody. But, yeah, they got Rocket, then he did him right, and he's awesome. Yeah, he's a, yeah. He's a beast. And I didn't even want Chip to be a main character. He could have been just a cameo. Now they're probably thinking, like, damn, we should have did that. <laughs> 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 they probably will just end up making a new one now. Or a sequel. Or a sequel. Who, do you, who do you think Skylord is... Barbarous. Star Lord? Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, I, know. I have two theories on. I think it's Loki. I think it's. No, no. I think it's, I'm sorry. That would be fucking retarded. <laughs> I know you're not the only one that said that though. But that would be like, what? No, no, I, I no, no. I think it's one of two possibilities. How okay? the fuck would it even be Loki in the first place? Like he goes I'm from the right. pet. Like he, like wouldn't he at that time? Like, wouldn't he already be, like, mad old? Isn't this in the future? No. This is, this is, uh... This yeah, because is, uh, he's already older. He's an older kid. He's old. Like, when you saw him as a kid, I think that was during the Avengers time. No, that's not. That's during the 80s. Yeah. We know that for a Oh, second. yeah, you're right, yeah. I think music. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, but no, here's the... Here's the two that I think is likely to happen, okay? And also, Loki is a god that's thousands of years old. I don't think 20 years would make him look like an old man. I don't yeah. know. It would just be a little far-fetched. Um, but, here's, um, but, but here's an interesting... Here are the two that I think are likely. The most likely one is Adam Warlock. I can that, see that. that. I can see I that. Now, here's the one that I actually think is going to be the case, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you know that big head that they fly into the movie? Yeah. That is a celestial. I think he's gonna be a. Me I think he's gonna be a member of that race. Uh -huh. Celestials are some of the most powerful beings in the universe. So it explains why he could do the things he can do. He would be half celestial. That explains why he can't hold the gem completely, but he can hold the gem. That ending with fucking them holding that shit together was epic as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was awesome. Yeah. That was like the most epic yeah. thing I've seen all My year. heart was beating fast in that scene. And with a celestial is a constant being, so it would explain why it explain all the clues that we got, because the clues that we have is that he's somebody of status. Um, we know his father has to have status because his father could hire bounty hunters, okay? And Probably very expensive bounty hunters at that. Yeah. Second of all is, we know he gained abilities from his father that allowed him to hold that gem for as long as we did. So his father has to be somebody, um, most likely is either an elder of the universe or um, a celestial or somebody of that power set, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so it's a somebody of power. Um, so those are the clues that we have. And so... I think it's probably either going to be 
Adam Warlock or just he's a celestial. It could be fine. No, Darth at the moment. I'm joking. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't be surprised. That, that there's a there's a clue that kind of puts Thanos out of the running. Okay. What? Um, and this is one of the clues people are using to to, to theorize that it's. That Loki. would have been hilarious if it was him, like. Star Lord, I am your father. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, that happened in Star Wars Episode Five, so the second movie. They could still. Do no, it. I'm just saying it would have been like people say that this is like the Star Wars of Marvel, and then they do yeah, that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, what's in the second movie? Thanos cuts off his hand. Uh -huh. and... <laughs> I am your father, Star Lord. Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin, Star Wars, Star Lord's dad. I am your father. No, they can't be! Oh, wait. <laughs> I heard True. the car do his... You made my mother? What the hell? What, what the hell are you thinking? I, I heard the car just... Maybe that's why she died from cancer, too. You know? Yeah. Something that happened during birth or something that, like, because he's half alien and gave her, like, some kind of, like... Yeah. I, would, I could see that, too, because, you know, Thanos likes... Back in his uh, early days, he used, he used to bang fucking women a lot. Like, he banged shit out of them. The problem with him, and the reason I don't think it is, is because the description the mother gave of the alien mm -hmm. was was almost certainly human-like, but it was gorgeous. That's why a lot of people are saying Loki, because Loki fits all those descriptions. Yeah, I can then see that Then it'll too. probably be Loki then. I don't think it's... Loki, because also, if you have you seen Adam Warlock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Adam Warlock looks could in some images looks in some images look dreamy too. Who is Adam yeah. Warlock? Sorry, I uh, use that word. I will never use it again. Uh, uh, Google it. Google He's it, dreamy. Google it, Google it, Chris. It's part of. So does that mean Loki's dreamy, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's dreamy. Mark, I heard the car use Scott Star Lord's his dad in the comics because Marvel I got the rights to it. Yeah, that's well, I heard from the AMC. Think... Yeah, do you want me to give you uh, an image of Adam Warlock? Yes, yeah. I mean here. Did you hear what I just said, Mark? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting for the next piece of news for Batman v Superman. You know? Same. I, what do you think the here. next thing they're going to announce is? The villain? Another villain? Who the second villain is? Man is still to Brainiac. There you go. I think Brainiac will be the villain in Justice League. Uh, it could be. It could be. Yeah, uh, because, yeah. It makes prefer, the most sense. I would yeah. prefer him to be in a, a Man of Steel sequel, but... I guess if you're going with a with a bang, you better just start with a big villain. Have you all of you seen the DC um, online um, cinematic trailer? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. The intro trailer of the game. Mm -hmm. the, the the opening. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people said that should be a movie. Yeah, that, that should yeah. be a movie. That yeah. Should been, yeah. And that, has and that a, does not look all chippy and happy either. That was a pretty brutal as fuck fucking just like... <laughs> look yeah, at it was, man in that shit. It's like, dude... I don't that think shit, it's time to save a cat from that tree. Dude, that it's shit was fucking intense. There. That shit was intense. It's like crazy shit was going on. That shit was just going off the Why roof. Why do you have to spoil this for the game? Um, whenever you see Superman, he's saving a kitten from a tree. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I've never played the no. DC Universe online game. It's good. It's good. It's great. It's, it's fantastic. I know it's free. Yeah. I'm gonna download it right now. Screw it. I'm already in the mood for it. I heard. Now I heard I it. Play it now. I heard it takes hours to download. Uh, yeah, it does. It does, but it's worth it though. Yeah. It's, uh, Did you see the image I uh, I sent you? Yeah. yeah. It, it's uh, it's it's world. Yeah. I, I, and hell, if they're going to do the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, this would be a good time to bring Adam Warlock, because... You have to bring Adam Warlock in, but... Adam Warlock was technically in that movie. Is that yeah. his dad in the comics? Could be. 
And that in the comics is somebody they cannot use, I don't think. That's yeah, the that's reason. what AMC says, yo. They got, Marvel and I got the rights to it. Because, actually, wait, why wouldn't Marvel have the rights to it? I don't know. Now that I think about it, I don't know. Uh. Or even right? the guy who made uh, oh yeah, even the guy yeah, that... who made Guardians of the Galaxy said that they're gonna do something different from what we know his real father is anyway. Yeah, that's gonna be really different. But I hope all I want he has a Facebook page. Oh, I want think... go did it. Yeah, that's his name. I know yeah. his last name is good. Yeah. So do you want to talk about Arkham Knight? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I know uh, I'm gonna get it just because it's Batman and that... <laughs> even I'll if I don't have a PS4, I'll probably buy it. Eventually, I'll get it. Just... Lots, lots of people are saying... Then you guys have picked. Lots, ah. of, lots of people are saying the release date is too long and they've just pre-ordered it. It's what? Lots of they people probably want saying... to work on it more, you know? Yeah. Because the last fucking game... Arkham Origins. It was a great game, but it had a lot of issues. Yeah. Well, it was also not made by that team, so. Yeah, I'll and plus Arkham Knight. Oh, Arkham Knight was going to take three years to make. Like it was going to take. Is three he years. in that? Yeah, that's Adam Warlock's cocoon. So he thinks he's just sleeping in there? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know enough about the character, but I do know that's Adam Warlock's cocoon. Yeah. So he's definitely. Ha it's probably already hatched. So. Mm. So I think that's from before. So, so we'll, we'll have to wait and see what they do next, you know. All right. So anything else, like on I've, this? I'll, I'll come out. Um, I've got two theories. Are the Batman dies, or there's going to be a Justice League? End of it. No, I think I think the end of the I think the end of it is going to be Superman coming. And that oh, is not. That, 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 yeah, that would be better. I would prefer if Superman does come into the. Cut. At least I don't think, at least I think DC has learned that when you make a successful Batman property, you don't end it after you've done your trilogy and then leave it alone. Uh, you continue it. it would and I'm sorry, unlike the Nolan movies, this Batman I can see taking on Superman. Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. But the Arkham I mean, Batman. nothing against Nolan's universe. Nolan wasn't trying to make that Batman. Nolan was not trying to make the comic book Batman who can take on any character. He was I trying to make... I say that the Nolan Batman couldn't. I think he could have. It's just Batman needs more gadgets and shit, but it's not like... He's a more grounded... I'm just saying he was a more grounded, a little bit more realistic... He was realistic supposed to be in the Superman Returns uh, movie. Well, not in the movie, but they were... Really? Gonna, yeah. They really? were going to oh. do a Superman and... They were going to do that then. But Superman Returns bombed. I know. Uh... Yeah. I'm just saying it would have been harder. It would have been harder for people to believe that because that Superman wasn't set up that way, and that's fine. That wasn't what they were going for. I mean, if Could that they... Batman put on a, a metal suit, I think he would have fought him fine. It's not like Batman. He he fought really well in those movies. You know, oh, uh, so, probably, I mean, against I think... Bane, he got his ass whooped, but Batman always gets his <laughs> ass whooped against they... Bane. I think if they had done anything, I think they w would have had the uh, kryptonite boxing gloves. Yeah. Or the kryptonite gauntlets, that's what I mean. Not boxing gloves, they're gauntlets. Mark, how do you think they're going to introduce kryptonite in Batman v Superman? I think Lex Luthor is going to create it. Yeah. He makes uh, synthetic kryptonite. Uh, just, I wanna, don't want to change subjects, but... Uh, Mark, do you think they'll introduce Cable in X-Men Apocalypse? Because I have a feeling they, they might. I hope so. I want Cable in freaking X-Men. Even what? even in Man of Steel, when the planet d blew up, there was still debris. It's not like all the debris was gone. There's debris all around the oh, the atmosphere. Yeah. The atmosphere is all fucking atmosphere. still there. And then they probably... I have... What? Mm -hmm. I have a pitch idea of how you can do um, Doomsday... Um, off of what they did in Man of Steel that I don't think betrays anything. Tell me what you guys think, okay? So basically, um, Lex Luthor finds debris, um, part of the ship, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That was destroyed. And basically, this is like, this is like, these are the worst of the worst criminals that go in here. 
he opens one of the pods, and basically inside one of the pods, it, 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 he was a criminal. He was on the same ship, but he was so dangerous that he had to be that, that he had to be in a special area that he couldn't get out. Defensive zone. No, no, no. He was so dangerous that not only was he in that ship. But they had to specially make a chamber so he couldn't interact with any of the prisoners because he would kill them. Yeah, and he, he was, was stuck in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and that so, broken machine, that broken ship that they used to crash land on Earth was just a destroyed, fucked up version. It just, it, when Superman crashes through it, that one he could probably, there's probably, you know, that came off the fucking, it's split in two. The, the, the ship's split in two. There's still the other one. The they one who um, blew up, though, but Superman crashed through the one... Yeah, but I'm just saying, part of it just had to... No, just I'm like, saying, the, hold on, the, the other one that Superman crashed into that was in the Indian Ocean broke into, like, three pieces. The other one, the, the beam shot up it, and then it just fell over. That one was where he could probably be in. But that my wasn't, question, like, destroyed. That was still... The, the one that was broken into three pieces, is that, the, is that the one that was in the Phantom Zone, or was it the other one? Oh, the other one, yeah. The other one went in the Phantom Zone, too, yeah. Because whichever one was in the Phantom Zone is the one that he has to be in. And I'm just saying, this is an idea of where you can do that character. You're not betraying anything. It works. And he's from Krypton. Yeah. I think it fits every criteria that you need for that character. Um, Somebody said that it makes a riff, too. When they, when they opened the portal for the Phantom Zone in Man of Steel, it made a rift in some other portal, and that, you know, made a fucking, uh, I think, dark side come or something like that. Maybe that's how Doomsday comes too. I don't know. That's that, that's how I would do dark side. Is that is that basically my pitch for how I would do dark side? Is that uh, is that Lex Luthor trying to play around with the with the with the device that gets into the Phantom Zone? Yeah. And Dark Side. And he invades. accidentally he accidentally opens the ship a where the, all the um the, the pods not the ship where all the fucking um where all the, the 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 fucking like you know babies where they grow the babies and shit that ship was fucked up maybe maybe they create fucking something with that those uh pods I don't think so I I I I but I just hope. But Basically, they open a. Basically, how I do it is Lex Luthor screwing around with, with it. Who's audio going on? Edgar, can you mute your mic? It's not that big of a deal. Keep going. Okay. So basically, Lex Luthor is playing around with the Phantom Zone, uh, the tech that opens the Phantom Zone, and he accidentally opens the portal to Apocalypse. And Darkseid steps out, and they have to get him back. And then he says, now that I know this lush world exists, I will return. But when I return, I'll have an army with me. Yeah, I'll, but that should happen at the end of Justice League, and then we have Justice League 2 after that. That's how I would do it. Yeah. Now, if you were doing, if Brainiac's the villain, how I would do Brainiac is however they defeat Brainiac, a portal is opened, and then he steps out at the end of the movie going, this is the world for me to conquer. Oh, shit. That's how I'd go about that. If that happens at the end of the film, we'll come wait for that. <laughs> they, they said that you won't see that character, I think they've said that you won't see that character until the sequel of Justice League. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Okay, this was Goku for the sub one. And what pisses me off, 710? And this is Edgar, and this is the amazing CJB, and we see you later. <laughs> and uh, please leave a comment below, tell us what you think, and we'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace.